Trinity University has been in the business of educating students for 150 years and alumni weekend seemed like the perfect time to celebrate that rich history. But a look past the pomp and circumstance reveals some alumni who not only know that history, but also lived it. Three, two, one. Yeah. A century and a half is a long time, and Trinity has been through a lot. A request to move from Waxahachie the day after Pearl Harbor, a move to the site of an old rock quarry in the 50s, and even some rather notable alumni. But no one at Friday's 150-year celebration could top Martha Utterback, class of 52. <laughs> I'm a survivor, I guess. Martha was also a student at the old campus before the move to the school's current location and remembers moving day fondly. Well, we just, we sort of posed with boxes on our shoulders. Really? <laughs> Jim Harrington made the trip from Delaware this week to take part in his 60th class reunion and remembers good times at Trinity, or at least the ones he can tell us about. Thank God our fraternity never got caught. <laughs> <laughs> Both enjoyed their trips down memory lane at a luncheon for alumni who had graduated 50 or more years ago. Good thing for Jim, knowing the school song wasn't the criteria. We sing to the old trinity, the school without a peer. Don't let me ask me to go any farther. You got the first two lines up. I got the first two lines. I think that's more than most people could do here. And an interesting side note, many of the buildings here on campus were designed by famed architect O'Neill Ford, including, yeah, the Murchison Tower. And just last year, this area was designated a National Historic District. That's pretty cool. Reporting from the city's north side on the campus of Trinity University, I'm Brian Bowes, Spectrum News.